I guess how are you doing today? Alright, it's just me uh, chilling and fishing. So yeah, more content for us to do. Well, anyway, so I want to talk about why I don't go for meta meta anymore. So because, well, it's just a waste of stop time. It's unnecessary stress, and uh, every patch, uh, Mihoyo is slowly uh, buffing the abyss and uh, the meta the meta is ever so changing so yeah us low spenders and free to play just can't keep up so at least uh, well at least for me in my case because I don't just level up one character I have a lot of characters I, and I plan to use them most of them at least so I don't just hyper focus on uh, investment on just one character alone it's just boring in my opinion that's why I have like three accounts now. So across my three accounts, I have like example for this account. This is a uh, Raiden Shogun account. So Raiden Shogun is main DPS here. He's the queen here. So on my main account, it's Hilo, Hu Tao, Ayaka, Kazuha. Yeah, I'm running Kazuha main DPS. So <laughs> I'm actually a Kazuha main. So I'm planning to see six Kazuha with uh, low spending by for my main account that my main account will not spend on uh, for like uh, at least five to six months we'll just say primo gems from battle pass and walking that's how i when that's how i plan to see six my casual without whaling without spending thousands of dollars so yeah uh, anyway, so the meta, they will keep chasing, you know, we just keep keep chasing the meta, so uh, we, we really can't afford it for most of us who are not whales, and uh, it seems that the Abyss, they will make a new character, yeah, that's the trend, so uh, the new character is catered to the Abyss, so that's the problem, so we can't always pull for the new character because uh, we just can't afford even low spenders welcome spenders have to skip banners so it's really not enough and also the resources uh, don't resonate refresh you can't have the artifacts and the resources the materials to level up that new character for that new spiral of this meta anyway with my current situation with my main account, I'll, I'll be only be missing 50 Primo Gems. So it's not really a big deal. Even if it's 100 or 150 Primo Gems, it's not a really big deal. I can buy that if I want, but I don't need to. But yeah, it's uh, not. It's really not worth it. Well, anyway, I have 36 Star Abyss a couple of times already. So that's one of my goals for playing Genshin for months as a low spender with a resident refresh and spread out the thin but yeah so that's what I just want to talk about so uh, I'm yeah I'm back to playing with my uh, uh, playing the game on my terms so I'm happy with the catch I don't need this spear 5 star spear that's why I'm so happy I got this because the weapon banner I knew that the weapon banner is rigged it knows what you want it will give it won't give you what you want so but actually I want this I've always wanted this so yeah so I will just be collecting five star weapons and characters that I want I will try this uh, yeah I think I don't need to get the the uh, five star spear for example uh, I have you look in hotel on my main account so I won't have to I don't I don't want to chase meta so I love the look uh, I rerolled 50 times for him so I'm gonna I'm gonna get the wolf gravestone first for the look even though getting the stock of Homa on Hutao will deal more damage than the, than the look gravestone but yeah I'll just play the game on my own terms and collect the characters that I want and play the game however I want so I'm done with the meta uh, Mihoyo can keep that meta and yeah at least uh, the whales are happy with it 
Yeah, at least some people are happy, so... Well, it's uh, still good. All good. We'll have a great day.